All right, first and foremost, I haven't been back here in a while. Let's see if he has anything new to say. I won't back down. Not now or ever. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Really? Nice. They must have done that on purpose. Apparently, Hades... Hades' chamber is chamber 69. Nice, that, that couldn't have gone any more perfectly if I had planned it. That's incredible! Anyway, let's give uh, Skelly some ambrosia. First one to receive it. Skelly, while I know your services have already been paid in full, your sources ought to know you've been doing an excellent job. So much so, I wanted to give you this. <sighs> is that a vintage bottle of ambrosia, pal? I never even thought I'd get to try a thing like that. I mean, what am I here? You know what? I want you to have this. To symbolize our friendship, and in case you ever need a hand out there. Skelly, mate. You really shouldn't have. Do you have any idea how hard to find this is? Companion rib. Okay, should also have conversations with him. Though currently can't. So what is this thing? Collection. Summon... Summon? Distracts foes in an area, drawing their wrath from you to a new target until it dies. Left trigger for a quick assist from a friend. Once per encounter, max uses per escape. One. And you can level that up with Ambrosia. Okay. So, we've got a... We've got to do a lot today. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I guess first and foremost, thank you, oh, Verisoc, for the 500 like bits. It. As always, thank you so much. Wonder, did you like the clip I made yesterday? Yes. Yes, I did. Ring, <laughs> Ring Fit brings out the weird, and I love it. You are as multifaceted as anyone I know. I don't really, I don't really have a whole lot of interest in these as much. Which one? Per encounter, not per escape. No, 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 no. Max uses per escape one to two. So I think I get I think I get one I mean I might as well equip it and we'll just see. But yeah, I might only get to keep this thing and use it once. And the more the more I level it up, uh, the more I can actually use it. But uh, chances are I'm probably going to just lose this thing and that, that'll just be the end of it. And that's, that's okay. Anyway. Uh, well, we still haven't done a Heat 5 run properly on the spear, which is good. Gives me some time. But yeah, so I can use it once per encounter and also once per escape attempt and I can level it up. Which is good, but means I'm less likely to use it. I almost wish it was just to charge up like the call or something like that. Or every time you fight a boss you get it back or I don't know. That anyway. Things up. Oh. I have the Harpy Feather Duster, don't I? Whoops, I do. Well, My this is fine. Talents. Uh... On one hand, Exploding Launcher is very necessary because it's a faded choice. On the other hand, I gotta go with Multi Skewer. Stronger. Normally, Might normally well. I go for the faded choice, but like, I'm in no rush to get the the boons from faded choices. Okay, better boons, extra health, or money. Let's do money. Yeah, I, I'd like to try the exploding thing. It's just like if I could possibly get. Uh, a good Mary Poppins fight. runoff. Right now, I'd be a happy camper. Yeah, better boons would be fun, but my better my boons are already pretty dang good. So it's not quite as impactful as having a bunch of money to just spend flagrantly on whatever the heck I want.
speaking of, uh, I might do some more, uh, some more modding today. Uh, we, like, we might straight up alt-tab and, and screw around a bit. I know people always get, like, their, their shorts in a, in a bunch whenever I start, like, modding a game. Like, seriously, the amount of people that have been, like, actually quite upset at me for screwing around in every game that I've modded since Fallout. Weirdly enough, nobody's, nobody cared too much about me modding the shit out of Fallout 4. But everybody else is like, no, you cannot... Take it. You're not a... What, what leveled up there? I'm actually not sure what leveled up. Because some... It, like, said... It went from plus two to plus three? I don't... I don't know. Don't forget the food. Oh, I did actually take damage. When did I take damage? Oh, it's fine. Yum. Let's see. Oh, I don't get too much more. Oh, when I when I went for chaos. Yeah, you're completely correct. I will admit the the damage that I've taken so far, it just in general is kind of negligible, so I don't really think about it while I'm on this first level. Which actually is often to my own detriment, to be honest, but whatever. And yeah, I totally forgot about Cass. Look, I am not all here right now. Peak Wonderbot is was yesterday, which was used almost exclusively on two hours of really intensive ring fit. They're ruining the sanctity of the game, Wander. Hey, you joke, but somebody straight up said that almost word evolved. for word. <laughs> like, there are some people that just do not like it when you mess with the formula at all. Uh, but I, I'd like to screw around a little bit with this game, seeing as now I know that I can. Uh, like, for example, I can actually make it so I can change, uh, I believe how many projectiles the Chaos Shield throws out, how fast you bull rush, how much damage every weapon does, and, uh, boon rarities, and so on and so forth. I was thinking of making it so the, the chances of getting a legendary boon are extremely high, so I could screw around. And mods add new feeling for a game you've played multiple times over. And even for, like, games that I haven't, Good. sometimes mods just add, like, a special quality of, of just really fun things. Mine now. Easy example would be like, yeah, I've been playing, um... I've been playing Witcher 3 lately, and I started that by, uh, by modding it to Hell and Back again. It's like, yeah, I could have played it vanilla. And I probably would have been fine, again, huh? but it was just so much more fun. It was so much more fun for me to be able to, uh, goob around with the game. <laughs> I mean, effectively, I just turbo loot everything in my immediate area, and it's so good! Like, I've never done that in an RPG ever, save for one of my Fallout 4 modded runs. And it makes everything so much faster, not having to do like, Alright, time to loot this cupboard, and then that cupboard, and then the this chest. Make a rather easy target, wouldn't you say? Let's see what you can do to them, given your choice of these. Oh, these are good ones. I go for the Deadly Flourish, it would probably do a ton of damage. Mm. Oh, this is tough. I feel like putting it into my basic deadly strike is probably my best my best bet. And you stream at the worst time. I apologize. This is just the only way that I can have like a life shiny. Plus, I generally do my best like recording after the sun goes down. I don't ask why. I don't really have an answer in that direction. Special is that much faster. Uh, let's do Divine Dash. Oh. <laughs> One coin off. 
I'd say that's insulting, but I don't actually care that much. But there's Karen. You know, I thought you'd say that, Charon, mate, but I insist you take it and enjoy, all right? What's Charon doing? Pretty sure I haven't beefed him up too much. Yeah. It's not quite enough cash. Oh, well, it's fine. I wonder if I could have altered that. Oh, wait, no. I could have. I could have absolutely altered that. It's not, uh... It's not boss time yet. There we go. Also, thank you, Vightful, for the, uh, for the hundred, uh, what is that? Hundred bits. Thank you. Oop, yep, snip, stab it. All right, there we go. Man, Quick Spear is actually damn good. I really, really hope we get Poseidon here. Oh, my. If I'm lucky. Okay. Yeah, where is Brain? I was definitely talking about something before so. this, and now I've forgotten. Oh, this is boring. Gems. Fortunately, you can only cycle between these. Right, I was kind of talking about schedules and stuff. I mean, I don't know. I just... I spent a lot of time today doing artwork, uh, getting channels, stuff together, videos together. I've got, like, a week's worth of almost all of my series right now. Either... Yeah, no edited and uh, potentially rendering, and then, yeah, I'll go for the gems. Uh-oh. Oh, right, I was also talking about mods, commentary after the sun goes down. I don't know, there's a bunch of topics uh, that I was kind of half talking about. And technically, like, I've touched upon them in a mostly satisfactory manner. But still. Okay, so... It's That's just kind of the mix of, like, I just like working at night, and I always will. Cheers. Oh, let's see. Harpy Feather Duster is capped at one item per room. Hmm. I believe that. No, I've definitely had it... I've definitely That's had it proc... Coin. Two. I think. Your struggles have not gone unnoticed, cousin. So take heart. Eternity awaits you once you finally break free. We'll see. Okay, Divine Strike is pretty good. That's bad. I'll grab that, I guess. Don't be messing with my feelings, Zagreus. My loyalty's hard won and quickly lost. Okay. Gotta focus a little bit. Unfortunately, this is one of those games that makes it really difficult to stay on topic. For any amount of reasons. Hmm. There's just a lot. There's just a lot that happens. But that's okay. But yeah, so, I don't know. I might play around with modding th this game some more now that we're at episode 30, 40 well, something. All right. Let's call it even for the moment and get on with this. Because I tried messing with it previously, but it actually made the game break. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the hunter dash. I, I am not playing favorites here. The deflect dash is nice, but it's not amazing. But if I can get the uh the double slash die, You're done. on this thing, then everything gets goofy. If we can get Hermes so I can dash more, this is going to get very aggressive. What did that level the damage bonus up to? Eh, it's 15%. I'll take 15%, but still. It's Charon. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. Okay. Uh, do we get Phalanx Shot? I'll get Holy Shield. Yum. Oh, it looks like I can't give him another another thing. Let's see. 
Quick note, what tips would you give us I didn't keep you waiting, to somebody ladies. trying to return to you writing and DMing after a long break? Oh. Come on and fight. Eh, nothing new. Here's my whip. Getting back to writing or DMing after a long break. A DMing I feel like is a little easier just because you have players to you have players to kind of push things forward. So it's not quite as it's not quite as bad. Uh, writing though is freaking hard. I, that's where I'm at. Like I've I've been trying to off and on write a book for years at this point, so I don't actually have a good answer on that one. Um, the sad and frustrating uh, bit of advice is truly, it's actually best if you just like keep pushing forward on it. Uh, don't start over if you can avoid it. You know, go back to old ideas. They're probably still quite valid and quite good. Where'd the others go? Uh, let's see, would you ever show anybody my writing? Much uh, I think I'd want to have a hundred pages done. And then I'd probably just start releasing it like any of my YouTube series, just daily. Well, not daily, probably once okay. a week. Okay, let's go Chthonic Coin Purse. We have a lot of money, so it's not super important right now, but the more I can get, the better. Did I get rid of Holy Shield? Yeah, let's get rid of Holy Shield. Already. I just don't use it. I'm there hoping we can get Poseidon here. Courtesy of the Pact. But old ideas that quickly got out of hand. I'm trying your hand at something a lot smaller first. Yeah, I try that, but then I'm like, but what about big ideas? And then screw myself over. I don't know. I'm trying no matter what it's it's just the matter of like honestly willpower to just keep yourself going that's true of most hobbies uh i mean technically with it i guess part of the reason why like a D, &D campaign would probably be easier uh to to keep up with and like keep the motivation for is just purely because you have players that are kind of relying on you um one bit of advice that isn't necessarily good is, like, if you're having trouble keeping up with writing and stuff, get to the point where you're satisfied somewhat with an idea, and then potentially post it online. And this is bad and good advice. Bad because most publishers will not give you the light of day if you've self-published online. Good because you will be way more motivated if you actually have a fan base that expects a weekly chapter to keep up with things. It's part of the reason why I started doing streaming, because it's so so much harder. Uh, it is so much harder to just sit down and record, say, 10 episodes for a YouTube series in a day oh, than it is to sit down and stream for 7 hours and record 10 to 14 episodes, if that makes sense. Guess I got a break. Also, thank you, Benjiro, for the 100 bits. I found your channel recently, and I'm already excited to see the videos you produce. Greetings from Germany. Greetings from practically Hello, the other side of the world. Oh, she has stuff to say to us, but thank you. Of all the lava rocks in Asphodel, the Hades kid found this one once again, wouldn't you know? You got a map or something to this place, or what? Don't know that a map would help me much, since things keep shifting out here every single time. Though it is an interesting coincidence how I keep running into you. Coincidence? Come on, hun, you're a god. Someone out there is sending you my way. Maybe it's just the fates. Oh well. I sure don't mind a little company, and I have lots to eat. Okay, let's do Ambrosia Delight. Sure thing, hon. What's that buff? Ooh, that's good. Okay, special is... Ooh, faster. Dash attack damage. Okay. This is fun. Thanks again. Well, see ya. More burn flingers. I, I'm still a little bit peeved. There's a guy back when I started uh, interacting with Eurydice that was absolutely furious because I keep picking that one instead of the one that increases boon rarity for boons that I haven't picked up yet. But like, these are some fun little upgrades to play with. Whereas like, there's no guarantee I would have. I would rather have the, uh, what is it? The bird in the hand is better 
than two in the bush. And I stand by that in, in terms of, like, a lot of gameplay. Over there. Okay. So we have another shop. Something Light of Ixion. Heck yeah. Really wish Chaos Gates would show a lot more often, but eh, what can you do? Okay. Aphrodite or shopping? Charon's shop. Uh, well, these are boring, for that. but that's fine. Nice. Not really what I'm looking for, but I'll take what I can get. This isn't good. I didn't know Chaos Gates could spawn in here. going to take more damage here than I like, but I'm trying to finish her off quick. Okay. I'm really hoping we get a Poseidon, a couple of Poseidon boons here, but they don't seem particularly forthcoming, so I don't know. Go to your head. Okay. Uh, let's see. Call... So you deal crit damage to a foe, nearby foe is marked, or burst shot. Oh, I didn't actually know you could get burst shot without a regular shot. That's interesting. I could grab Hunter's Mark, though. The might of the Huntress. Okay, what are my options? My options are boring. Therefore, down we, we go. It. In the name of Hades. Okay, better boon rarity, more money, extra cost. More money is pointless. Extra cast. All right, we're going in blind. I know people definitely get upset about this one, but eh, what can I do? Hey, there's the man himself. Good tidings, my most favored nephew. All is relatively well, I hope. But hope alone is worthless without action, is it not? So here, let's act together. Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? It's not the numbers that I'm looking for, but I'll live. It's not more money, it's even more money. Yeah, the problem is the game just doesn't you give you enough to, like... Wishes. The game just does not give you enough things to spend the money on. Like, I don't know if you've noticed that about this game, but there is, like, you pretty much cap out it, like, a 50% monetary boost is all you ever need in this game. Anything past that is just getting to the point of being excessive for no reason. Why are you aiming at that, you schlub? I've noticed that sometimes, especially if I'm hanging out over there, uh, Zagreus will just aim at something off in the distance. I think it's because that's where the Hydra heads might end up be lo being located, but I don't entirely know. I just, I've definitely aimed in that direction before and it's very confusing. I didn't know I could get money from that in this chamber. Yeah, there's something there that we're locked onto. Because it's always that ge general direction somehow. Ow. 
Either that or the just the lock on doesn't work that great with Hydra heads. Ow. Yeah, we might use up a Death Defiance here. Not quite enough HP. Little rusty. Plus, this boss fight is particularly rough if you're doing melee-related builds. Okay. Plus, maybe having a glass of Baileys while I'm playing uh, Hades is not the wisest choice. Why? Oh, because he was there. Yeah, not quite the damage I was going for. If I'd gone crit... This probably would have worked better. That said, we're okay. Screw you, Hydra. I might make this without. I might make this. <laughs> Back to wherever your neck went. I'll just tuck that away. Uh, let's see. More money is better because you need gems. Buy a thousand to buy it at the end. I don't need gems that bad. Realistically, the thing that's going to take me the longest. Still there, are you? The thing that's going to take me the longest indeed. is actually just regular gems. I kind of needed the Harpy Feather Duster in retrospect. Well, let's hope for Poseidon. Coin goes in, that comes out. Anything else? Nah, I like these. Get me out of yeah, here. Yeah, because I started with the uh, Harpy yes. Feather Duster, which in retrospect, uh, it's usually the thing I want for Elysium more than anything else. It'd be cool if you can take gold back with you and trade for gems and stuff. Another that would be really nice if, like, paradise. leftover gold was converted into gems at, like, a 1 to 5 ratio or something. But sadly, it's not the way it works. My boon from chaos has transformed. Okay, this is good stuff. Just gotta be careful. Luckily, we have... Hyper Spear. I've never had it be this fast before. Which is hilarious and really effective. The question is, can he bully? The answer is yes, he can bully. And <laughs> there ain't no stopping the bully. Yeah, 1 to 5, 1 to 10 ratio. One way or another, like, it would be nice if you could bring gold back with you. And just trade it for Should be gems. Useful. Okay, so another hammer of Daedalus, which would be good. I'm a little worried about... I want to get the explosive shot, and I have no idea if they synergize. It'd be lovely if they did. Open up. I do not think so, boy. Well, you know what? I don't care about your opinions, father man. You're an absolute jerk, man. And therefore, your opinions may not, might not be invalid. Whoops. That got close. Whatever. Get back into the corner, you. Wow. That works. No use. It seems I need to look for better help. Good enough. And we're back up to full health. That's exactly what I was looking for. Get back there. <laughs> It ain't Mary Poppins yet, but 
It's very effective at playing keep away. <laughs> it's so mean. It's so mean. I love it. I need to I need to make this into a D&D &D item. Just give this to somebody. It's just a spear with obscene knockback. That can be thrown. I need to... Before my next D&D campaign, I'm absolutely Spears screwing around. Maintenance. Yeah, we want to do special does more damage. They'll fear me with this spear. Money or shopping? Shopping! Took care of those for you, mate. Well... Not really what I'm looking for, but that's okay. I'll take this. Take that. And we're good to go. Oh, it's this one. Come forth and be swatted, deadly butterflies. Suffer. Yeah, so now my spear has a crit chance. Mainly when passing through things. Uh, but that's okay. No spotting for you. No spotting for any of you. Absolute denial. I guess I'm taking a little bit of butterfly related damage, but that's okay. These poor ghosts. <laughs> Olympus, I accept this message. Okay. Uh, I guess let's grab Razor Shoals. Poseidon's aid would be good, but the rupture damage will be choice. Uh, let's see. Anything else? The answer is no. Hunter's just abusing them as a do. More chariots. I want that aftershock if I can get it. Ah. Freaking chariots, man. They're not that chill. Time for a boost. We pick the pace up just a little. Eh. I go for greater recall, but I think on this build I'm gonna go for greater Time evasion. To pick up the pace. Should come in useful. Under your darkness. Absolutely gems. Well, Okay, so what do we even? I mean, what do we even say at this point? Just it's good stuff. May I help you? Man, that does a lot of damage. That fifty percent crit chance is insane, especially with all the pre-existing Artemis perks that we already have. The only problem is it does make my regular attack kind of fiddly and weak in comparison. How do you go about creating the spear uh, in D and D? I, it would not be balanced. Like, baseline, trying to make anything like this would be difficult. Uh, straight up, all it would be would be just basic... I'd probably just say long spear. For the house. Uh, let's see, restore HP. Sadly, can't do that. But that's fine. There was some money back there. Basic long spear, probably 1 to 8 damage. Me, yeah, probably 1 to 8. Maybe even starts as a short spear and players can technically upgrade the base damage somehow. Uh, go for the money. Maybe. Go for the trove trial. Yeah, let's just go for the trove trial anyway. As well. That was advised. But yeah, so like 1 die 6, 1 die 8 damage. And uh, it's got three features at the gate. Uh, with like a potential couple of upgrades that you can grab. 
Uh, first off, you can throw it. It's throwing and returning, except for the returning. Instead of teleporting to your hand, it passes through everything uh, along the way. Relieved to through all of that. Thank you, it passes brother. through everything along the way and hits it for extra damage. Uh, I want the extra health, but let's go money. More bright swords. Uh, and then also on a charge attack. Though, I'm... Stop aiming at the wall, you fool! I do not understand. Let's see. Uh, but what was I going to say? Right. At the end of a charge attack, you get a small AoE. Uh, so you'll hit, like, three squares. Instead of the singular... Uh, singular thing at the end of your charge. Oh, what else would there be? And then you can upgrade it, so instead of throwing it a in, like, a line and hitting hitting stuff along the way, you can actually, uh, it will ricochet between enemies. That's where things would start getting ridiculous, but that would be, like, a really high-end upgrade. Not something that you'd just give out to, like, regular low-level players. There's some other stuff, too. Let's see, how far ahead is Wonders, uh... It's on this Skies playthrough uh, from Twitch to YouTube. Technically extremely far, but that's because I've been doing some off-camera grinding. I have uh, I have a Moloch now, uh, so on the plus side, you will have missed nothing because I've done nothing so far, uh, story-wise. So apart from missing out on me driving around and learning how the economy works in that game, tonight will effectively be the first story night in... Uh, First story night in Sunless Skies, presumably. I think you might have, like, potentially missed out on a couple of side quests, but, like... Speaking of, uh, I need to start writing, like, plot synopses of things that I've been doing. Another stream streamer, um, H... H... J. Tenchi? Is it? I think I think that's the name, or close to. Uh, I'm terrible at, like, letters before names. But effectively, Tenchi was uh, talking about how he has trouble streaming story-based games because people tend to check out because they don't want to... they don't want things to get spoiled for them. And they'll go watch the VODs instead, which I think is an entirely valid strategy. But I was thinking of uh, stealing his idea, with his permission, to... Let's go shopping. Uh, stealing his idea of having like little short plot synopses. Thank me, mate. Five second rule. That was five seconds, right? On command, because I think that would actually work really well. Ah, uh, extra 20, 20 damage now. Let's go razor shoals. That's a flat bonus. Oh, and it's these guys already. E. Hey everyone, I'm back. I always shall rise up to thwart your wicked plans, monster. Now, short one. Monster, you have no bearing and no grace or courage. I might honestly be better off going for... Oh my god, ow! Shoot. Such a spectacle, is it not? Also, they broke one of these. You That's a new it. one. By my honor and the gods, you shall soon be destroyed. Okay. We can take more than that. I think not. I think I. No. Yeah, it wrecked his chariot. Invoke your aid. Curse you.
This honestly is the worst thing I could have possibly done to myself. Now for the other one. This hurts. Woo! Hope you enjoyed the show out in the stands. That was hard. I don't have the best single target. Don't make me come up there, boy. Stay home, father. Look at all. Uh, let's go, old spike collar. Uh, let's see. Any of this good? Not overwhelmingly. I'm gonna grab Check the life essence. I'll probably be fine. Ooh, boy. Check. That was tough. The temple. Okay. At least there's plenty of money just sitting around for me. And I've already got plenty of money sitting around already, so we'll just be able to clean shop immediately. I know I could buy, like, the gem or something like that, but That's on offer here. I just don't I'll pay care that. that much. Hi. I gotta go Swift Strike. I realize that's, like, the least optimum there, but necessary. Okay. We'll do Tempest Flourish. And then let's go do other things. See, if I use the item yet, I'm going to be using it on... Damn it, I was really hoping we get this one, I guess. at least a Poseidon buff, but whatever. Eh. I should have tried the Explosive Shot instead. Though I think this still works better, maybe. Look at all that coin. Okay. Well... On the plus side, this still absolutely demolishes all enemies. Like, it's not quite as good as some of my other room clearing builds, but it's still fine. We could have re-rolled Dionysus. That is, well, well I mean, it's too late for Dionysus now. I've ever seen. But yeah, I, I could actually re-roll one of these if I really wanted to. Dionysus, honestly, ow. Probably would have been the best one for it, but a little late now. Poisoned. Ow. Clean. You shit. Ow. This man, I so believe it. Eh, nah, we've heard that before. Cast for festive fog. Now let's get Dionysus' aid. Stuff. Festive fog is kind of it's okay. Just what I need. The crowd bearing. Uh, let's buff my max HP next. Oh, actually ended up on the right side of the room. So, even though it's not quite as goofy of damage as some of my other, like, room clearing Hello. builds, it's still pretty good at just, like, knocking them all down. I, uh, I wish I had a little bit more control oh, over my builds sometimes. Because I would absolutely love to do a build where I'm just like, okay, get this Hammer of Daedalus ability plus, uh... This Hammer of Daedalus, Daedalus ability plus... What is this Plus stuff? the spear, and just, like, just Poseidon special. It's that giant snake stone once again. Unfortunately, I pretty much have to bully that guy into non-existence before I can focus on the snake stone. I don't know if there's an upper limit on the snake stone's range. Dang, I 
crisis. Okay, it's fine. If I just sit here, I can bully them both, and I'm behind cover, so I don't have to worry about it. Perfect. 50 max HP, that's what I was looking for. Let's see. Money? Money. I have to be... I have to be mildly worried about these guys. Everybody else I can stunlock, but they're very, very quick on their feet. Nah, let's just go for this. <laughs> God, I love this spirit perk. Like, let's have a look I, here. Yeah, let's grab the tinge of Erebus. It's not great. But, like, we're very close to getting a third reroll, and that actually will be quite helpful. If and when we get to that point. Uh, let's see. Any other money pots? Nah, doesn't look like it. And that is fine. Thank the gods. Should fetch me something. Okay, there's at least one money pot along the way here. Okay. Yeah, I think I might honestly just end up face tanking Maybe my I way through. Check the other passageways before I leave. Let's see. Upgrade Dionysus's call. Sata tunnels. Yeah, let's try re-rolling Athena and see what we get. I can't imagine it's going to be something amazing. Out. But you can't never know. Uh, let's see. Specials faster. No. All of these are really good. Really good-ish. Anything else? The answer is no. I feel like I'm just babbling. Unfortunately, this is... Uh, I've, I've hit the critical mass on this game where it's still hard enough where I can't just, like, talk about whatever the hell I want, uh, even if I'd like to, because there's just enough going on that, like, I'm going to end up sounding super scatterbrained, and that's not not something I'd want to do. I've got tons of... <laughs> I've got enough comments already about people being like, finish your goddamn sentences, and it's like, I can't... It's hard... <laughs> so hard. Um, but yeah, so it's it's hard to keep a consistent train of thought just because of how hard this game is. You know, it's not like, uh, what's a good example? Binding of Isaac, which unless you're doing some of the like really high-end ridiculous bosses. Olympus. You can pretty much just float through the entire game and just say whatever the hell you want constantly. Or, what's some other good examples of games that just require no brain? I mean, to some lesser degree, Sunless Skies has been like that. I just usually play it when I'm kind of tired Delicious. anyway. Uh, let's keep leveling up Dionysus' aid, because that actually will do a lot of damage. Presumably. No, not Curse of the Dead Gods. Or, you're probably asking what that game is. Eh, hey, you'll find out. It's a good game. It ain't even out yet. Okay, let's try altering this. No. Who do we get instead? More Dionysus! Very potentially completely useless, but we'll see. But yeah, so like, truly just kind of floaty roguelikes that don't actually have... I'm not going to say challenge, because challenge isn't the right word. I guess there's no reason for me to be collecting money at this point. What is... Is there a Greek god of wealth or money or greed or something like that? I can't imagine as such, but it would be really interesting to have uh, a boon that actually scales your damage based on how much money you have. I'd love to see that. Plutus is the Greek god of wealth. Huh. Yeah, I doubt he'd be making it in this game. So Pluto, Roman Hades is the god of wealth. That, 
I would absolutely love it if they added a... Like, after a certain point in this game, you actually just unlock Hades boons, and they're nuts. Like, they don't follow any of the other rules. I'd be such a ha happy camper. Okay. Uh, let's just go premium vintage. Thank the gods. Not really the most useful here, but... The extra health is nice, and also getting more more nectar just in general is a good idea. Yeah, I can't afford that. The prince persuades the underworld's ferocious guardian to move aside. Yeah, note to self. Drink alcohol after Hades. I owe you one, boy. It is not the greatest. No. I am definitely feeling less than I should be. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know. It's fun. This is just a bad mix. I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to the breeze. Come all this way again to fall to me. Would that you paid me such respects back at the house. So the interesting thing is, unlike most of my builds, I really can just stay away from him. Which actually... ...does kind of mitigate a lot of his, uh... ...his challenge. This guy is relentless, actually. I gotta focus on him first. I was really hoping I could get multi dodge here. I suppose that you must hate the very sight of me. You'll understand then why I wear the helm of darkness. What? What does that have to do with anything? I also really wish Zagreus actually had a retort being like, No! Like, I l quite literally only am mad at you because you've stuck me in, in this house like a bird. Like, I, I don't know. I like the one-liner, uh, the like, quick jabs that they make at each other, but I wish they actually had a full... Oh, Helm of Darkness makes you invisible. Got it. But like, I'd absolutely adore it if they had like, full conversations. Well, this is all going on, and like these count, these were the Hades support conversations. Because you know, I have to, I have to have ninety-nine conversations with Hades. But what if each fight amounted to like five of those? Oh, that would be incredible. You got it, man. That drunkard's power means nothing to me. Okay. That works. Ow. Let's finish this then. All right. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this is a really interesting run, because unlike usual, I'm really not trying to engage him in combat at all. I'm staying very far away from him. Which is working shockingly well. I would have never expected this build to pan out this way. Ow, what? Shit. Like, usually I'm like, oh... Spear throwing builds are bad. For good reason. They usually don't They usually don't have a whole lot of legs when it comes to the Hades fight. But clearly it just shows I've been inflexible lately. Uh -huh. 
And also, it's kind of a boring fight. <laughs> I mean, it's not boring. I definitely have to try. I can't. I can't just uh, float through this one. There we go. Now, again, you have defeated me somehow. And yet... Why... You... How... See you at home. By my father's name. That was a pretty good run. Despite having transcended past the confines of the underworld yet again... Prince Zagreus proves utterly unable to get past this point. No, no! Yeah. He did admit that I won. He's admitted it a couple of times, but still refuses to acknowledge that I've beaten him, technically. Shaggy that time, Father. Eh. These runs are getting faster, though. He's used to take about an hour and 15 minutes. I've got him down to about, what was that, 55? At least, At least episode length, which is good. Because the more runs I can fit in in the least amount of time, the better. So we need diamonds. Can I trade anything for diamonds? The answer is not really. Not to any kind of conversion rate that is makes any sense okay does it go ah yeah um meg <laughs> this meg. is a new one. Oh, i was not expecting company were you just casually snooping or is there something i can help you with i was just leaving zagreus Happened to be in the area, no thanks to you, and thought I'd go retrieve the last of my possessions. I have to say, you really let this place go to hell. She left. Great. Wonderful. I guess we'll just go back to killing each other repeatedly then. I don't know if anything's missing, but... If I sit down, I won't want to get back up. That almost implies that they had been dating. I wanted to check something because they've changed some of these. Attack and special damage to foes with casts in them. Huh. That wasn't... I didn't think that was working earlier. Which to choose? But yeah, that would explain... At least some things. Uh, let's see. I like the idea of leveling this one up. Technically, leveling up Lambent Plume might not be a terrible idea. Hey, what you weapon? It up. You must have done something. Coronach Tungus. I can give him more Ambrosia. I'm assuming that I, I'm assuming that probably levels up his uh Ooh. Oh. What infernal forge created you? I'll have to think about this. I liked the Kiron aspects. Let's go Kiron aspects. 